And it's our favorite day of the year at 2K Sports. At long last, it's time to roll the ball out there and get the new season of NBA basketball underway. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, it might go without saying, but LaMelo Ball grew up in a basketball family at their home in Chino, California. Some intense games with his older brothers were played. LaMelo said, quote, they were serious, slamming into the gate. That's where you develop, hating to lose. Everybody's going hard. I wish I could have seen it, B.A. It's led to this, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Charlotte Hornets. On Wednesday, they head back home to host the Indiana Pacers. And then on Friday, they head out on the road to face the Cavaliers in Cleveland. So the Hornets starting five. Ball and Rozier work together in the backcourt. Gordon Hayward is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Plumlee in at the five. And for Dallas, Luka and Hardaway, they make up the backcourt. Finney Smith at small forward with Porzingis at the four. And it's Powell in at the center position. Another season underway for the NBA. Grant, was there an opening night go. that sticks out in your mind? Well, for me, rookie year opening night is always special. Came out the gates 25, 10, and 5. Of course, 2004 was special, too, after not playing the entire previous year. Now here's Hayward. And he buries his first look. Over the years, we've seen Hayward get stronger. He's packed on some muscle, and it helps him on these physical finishes. Powell outside. Back to Doncic. Off target from three-point range. Ball into the lane. Mavericks with the rebound. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Out of bounds. It'll be Hornets ball. Hornets ball. Hardaway against Rozier. Ball outside. Plumley passes to Rozier. Right at the free throw line. Benny Smith pulls it in. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. And Grant, after a training camp invite back in 2016, undrafted rookie Dorian Finney-Smith making the Mavs roster. It was a big deal. They saw a 3 and D potential in this young guy. Well, the effort and tenacity have been there from the beginning. And now the shot is coming along, too. Now here's Hayward. Driving inside. Powell pulls it in. Rozier against Hardaway. Doncic outside from deep three-point range. And the Mavericks, another three. Doncic is such a confident player. He knows he can fire off the catch whenever he wants to. Hardaway against Rozier. Good chance here for Ball. Cash money on the open jump shot. He does not lack for confidence, and he should. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. From deep, here's Doncic. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. You know, I think this guy just loves the game of basketball. The preparation, the interaction with his teammates. He has fun out there on the floor. Now here's Ball. Rozier with it. Back to Ball. Five to shoot. Up and over Doncic. Ball no good. Dallas has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Outside Hardaway from downtown. Powell left side. Pass to Hardaway. Powell a screen on Hayward. Hardaway the pass to Powell. Hardaway with it. Spins. Tries again. They kick it out to Porzingis. Outside Finney Smith. Here's Doncic. The second effort. And it's good on the layup. Doncic has got his third basket of the night. Boy, he's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. Hey, the slam by Hayward. 
When Rozier is seeing the floor that well, it makes everything easier for him and his team. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. You know, for all his skill, and he's got plenty of it, one thing that people don't realize about Doncic is just how strong he is. And he's still uber young. With time, his frame will only get more imposing. And that's bad news for the rest of the league. Substitution here for Charlotte. Bridges, he's checked in for Plumley. Oubre comes in for Hayward. Book Knight, he's checked in for Rozier. And it's Smith in for LaMelo Ball. Charlotte on D. It's a five point game. Here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Back to Brunson. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Book Knight. It's rebounded by Dallas. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Brown passes to Brunson. Brown, a screen on Smith. Brunson with it. Checked by Washington. Brunson misses. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Book Knight can't get it to go. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Brunson on the drive. The shot misses. For Charlotte, they've gone three of nine, struggling so far. We've got 113 left in the first quarter here. Bridges outside. Outside Oubre. Back to Bridges. Six to shoot. From deep. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It goes on Moses Brown. Clark, a utility player like Miles Bridges, who can more or less do it all, has the ability to be such a difference maker for a team. Boy, B, I love the way this young man has improved and what he brings to the table. He makes an impact because he plays well at both ends, and he's really added to his offensive game. He can shoot the mid-range jump shot out to the three-point line, and he's an excellent driver as well. That's good from Bridges. You know, one of the things that endeared Miles Bridges to his college coach was he was a superstar in talent, but played with a blue collar mindset. He hits the second from the line.
And he makes all three. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Brunson against Smith. Kleba with a screen. Here's Bullock. He's guarded by Bridges. Brown. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks. Sterling Brown taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And he can't hit the second. Kleba passes to Brown. Kleba, screen on Smith. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Six seconds separating the shot and game clock. And it's Bridges with the jam. You talk about passing. Smith is one of the best in the game in that aspect. An incredible distributor. Smith against Brunson. Inside the arc. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for the Mavericks. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be right back with you shortly. Well, in this era of load management, Gordon Hayward says often it's out of the player's hands. There's certain times where it's not our decision to not play. Um, there are certain times where guys want to play, and the coaching staff and the training staff feels like it's in the team's best interest to not play. You know, there's certain injuries you really can't play with. Trusting the team doctors, Grant. Yeah, and as a player, that's some tough luck with injuries. He's got to heed them when they tell him to rein it in. That has been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. On the court for the Hornets. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. All and Rozier work together in the backcourt, and it's Plumley in at the center position, filling out the middle. Here's Hayward. Doesn't go that time, and the Mavericks go on the other way now. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Now here's Hardaway, and here's Doncic outside, and that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. And there's always been dialogue between NBA officials and the coaches and players. Some concern that it's gotten too chippy of Lake Clark. That's not a good look. No, it's not a good look, and you certainly have to recognize the fact that both sides are humans and emotions are going to run hot at times. Uh, the league has rules about how you engage with officials. Uh, I think you should actually have some give and take, but it should be toned down from what it has been recently. Now here's Rozier. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Gordon Knocks Hayward. down the long J. Hey, we're very reliable from deep now. You can't let him get his feet set and 
get comfortable from that distance. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Last season, the Charlotte Hornets finishing with their best record in the last five seasons. With the addition of LaMelo Ball, this team finally has some talent to build around. Playing a switching defense and going zone, the most in the NBA. Guys? Oh, fun to watch. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. And Rozier, here we go. It's blocked. Pass to Hardaway. And here's Doncic, pounded by Rozier. Hardaway against Ball. Here's Doncic. Another one falls for Dallas. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Ball finds Hayward. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Oh, Cauley Stein with the block. Doncic against Ball for three. Bridges. Doncic grabs the miss. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. That's why they're ahead. Now here's Doncic. Outside, Finney Smith. Up top, Cauley Stein. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And the Mavericks, another three! <laughs> I just love the ball move. Ball against Doncic. Ball passes to Plumley. Oh, Cauley Stein with the block. Pass to Porzingis to the middle. Cauley Stein gets the bucket. Cauley Stein's got his first points of the night. Nice look from Porzingis. Good vision there. That's what he has to do with the ball in his hand. Scan the floor, see what's available, keep his teammates involved as much as possible. here for Charlotte. Washington's checked in for Plumley. Oubre comes in for Bridges. Book Knight, he's checked in for Rozier. And it's Smith in for LaMelo Ball. To the wing on the left. Brunson against Smith. Pass to Book Knight to stop the run. It doesn't go for him. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. So it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Now here's Brown. Just five on the clock. Brown, a screen on Smith. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Despite being the consensus college player of the year back in 2018 Jalen Brunson wasn't drafted until the second round no surprise he's made himself into a quality NBA player though great IQ and hard work has paid off take a break take a break 
two shots. That free throw good from Brunson. And two national titles at Villanova for Jalen Brunson. Clark, why do you think he slipped to the second round? Well, it's hard to say, B.A. You know, the draft is more art than science, and guys slip for whatever reason. But if you're a pro and you get into a situation where you can prove how good you are, then you'll hang around in the league. Great college players may not have star potential, but he's truly a long-time NBA pro. Charlotte's gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Smith passes to Hayward. Smith with a screen on Brown. Here's Hayward. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Brunson against Smith. Pass to Bullock. The three. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Well, it's going to take something special now to get him back in this game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem like Washington passes to Hayward. Shoots over Brown. And he can't get that one. And it's Dallas the other way. There's 48 seconds left in the first half of this one. Pass to Bullock. Jacks up a three. And the Mavericks, another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Hayward outside. Smith with a screen on Brown. Hayward to pass to Washington. And Washington powers it through. And, you know, Hayward's floor recognition and composure. Really impressive. Knows precisely when to pass over to the open man. Now here's Brunson. Outside, Brown. Back to Brunson. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And you know, in this quarter, they've really brought up their shooting percentage. Anytime you feel goal percentage is in the high 50s, partner, you're doing something right. Now at the line for your Mavericks. Jalen Brunson. At the line for one. No, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. The Hornets shooting just around 32% from the field. Here's Booknight. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Hayward. Shoots over Brown. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Dallas. They have a confident 20-point lead right now. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the Dallas Mavericks. Well, they killed it on the glass, and they did it with high-level fundamentals, blocking out, maintaining position, and going up strong to the basket. If they board like that in the second half, this lead will continue to grow. All right, let's go over the first half now and highlight the opposing forces who stood out. If you could have drawn up an ideal scenario for this game, this would be it. The big dogs tried to one-up each other, neither giving an inch. Everyone in their building and watching at home must be eating this up. You know I am. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Just
just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Hardaway Jr. and Finney Smith, they're out there on the perimeter. At the four and five, it's Porzingis and Powell, and it's Doncic in at the one spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now here's Hayward. He's got nine. Pass to Washington. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Washington's got his second basket. Boy, lock into that focus from Washington there. Love the body control, too. Excellent. You know, B.J. Washington is very impressive. This young man hit the ground running when he stepped into the league back in 19. His debut performance, about 27 points, and an NBA record for made three-pointers in a debut. Now here's Rozier. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Plumlee, a screen on Doncic. Back to Plumley. Slam! Dunk by Plumley. All you got to do is get open, and Lamello balls handling the rock, he's going to find you. Lamelo's got an incredible pass in the middle. Well, when you talk about P.J. Washington getting off to a strong start, you also have to look at his defensive performance. I agree, B.A. I mean, two-way player definitely is P.J. Washington. Excellent instincts, and he's continued to impress as a shot block. Plumley passes to Ball. Plumley a screen on Hardaway. Six on the shot clock. Rozier can't get it to go. The Mavericks have gone just one of three in the second half. Inside, here's Porzingis. Dallas again missing. The Hornets have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Ball against Doncic. Ball a screen on Porzingis. Hayward, right side. From 12 feet. That one a little long. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contribution. Doncic passes to Powell. Here's Hardaway. Porzingis with a screen on Rozier. Kicks it to Doncic. Shoots over ball. And there's Doncic. That's good. On the assist from Hardaway. Doncic has got 18 points in the game. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Outside Hardaway. Shot from 12. Stolen by Rozier. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, the players on two-way contracts getting expanded opportunities last season after the league eliminated the 50-game cap and permitted them to take part in the playoffs. The pandemic played a role, but, guys, teams are continuing to find contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Allie. Thanks. Timeout call for the Hornets. And one thing that talent evaluators wondered about with Doncic coming in, was he quick enough to play point guard? In case you're wondering how that worked Ladies out, and gentlemen, your answer Mavericks is Mavericks. yes. In bold capital letters.
Both teams will make substitutions. Brunson against Smith. Pass to Plumley. Here's Book Knight. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And the foul called on Moses Brown. That's foul number two for him. Lamelo Ball. He's checked in for Charlotte. Lamelo Ball. Bridges on the wing. Two minutes remaining in the third. Plumley a screen on Kleba. Shot clock at six. And Bridges, here we go. And so the ball out of bounds. Brown touched it last. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. There's a minute 54 left in the third quarter. And the basket by Bridges. Boy, look how easily Bridges shoots through the contact there. I mean, his mechanics are strong, as is his body. Brunson against Ball. Pass to Bullock for three. Another three for Dallas. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now here's Ball. Shoots a fadeaway. Doesn't go for him. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. Brown finds Brunson. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. Check this out. That's only their second turnover tonight. They've kept great control of the rock. Holding on to the ball and holding on to this lead. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Back to Plumley. Pass to Book Knight. Clock at six. Chalk up two there. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. To the paint. It's Brown on the wing. He's checked by Plumley. Here's Bullock. Shoots over Book Knight. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. 16 seconds left to play in the third. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Here's Book Knight. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks ending the period up by a staggering 23 points. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. Back after this.
and a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Leading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And so in the game for the Hornets, Bridges and Washington are inside. Ball and Rozier work together in the backcourt, and it's Oubre in at the small forward position. Now here's Rozier. Well, Clark is someone with a close eye on the college game. How excited were you about this season's incoming rookies? Boy, I tell you, man, it's always exciting. I mean, that's been my take every year. I mean, you take a look at the guys in college, and you know some of them will be pros, and you're excited for them to have that opportunity to realize a dream. So I think the drive and enthusiasm of these young guys at the college level as they embark on trying to be pros, that's always fun for me to watch. And see. Here's Ball following the score by Dallas. Washington, a screen on Doncic. Here's Ball. The shot that time, not on target. Good D by Porzingis. Pass to Doncic. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Tries to spin move. And Doncic with the jam. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Now here's Ball. Bridges outside. Now Rozier. Pass to Ball. Bridges, a screen on Doncic. Here's Ball. And there's the rejection. They get it back. Shoots over Kleba. That doesn't go either for Ball. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Hardaway against Bridges. Doncic on the wing. Doncic is doubled. For three, Hardaway. The Hornets pull it in. Now here's Ball. And he gets that one. Boy, well, he's an incredible ball handler at 6'7. LaMelo can get space for his shot practically anytime he wants to. Ball against Doncic. Porzingis with a screen on ball. To the right side. Back to Finney Smith. He's feeling it. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Outside Oubre. Well, super teams are still being built. Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. Basket's good. Oh, wow, guys, this does not look good. We've got an injury here. Yeah, so tough. I mean, guys, I feel bad for him and the whole team. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, this is why you build out your depth as best you can. I mean, you just never know when injuries might show up. So for the Hornets, Carey's checked in for Bridges. Hayward comes in for Oubre. And it's Smith in for LaMelo Ball. Pass to Carey. Rozier against Hardaway. 13 feet out. Rozier can't get it to go. The Mavericks have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Rozier against Hardaway. Kleba with it. Now Doncic takes it inside. And the shot's good. Doncic has got ten points in just the second half. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Washington a screen. Hayward. Ooh, give him his fifth Gordon make of the Hayward. game in ten attempts. Well, that's really good work inside by Hayward. A reliable option for them in the bank. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Doncic. Spins. 
Doncic is doubled. Back to Hardaway. There's the triple. They get it back. And there's two. Work on the glass, man. Off that time. Doncic has got 28. Luka's a big 6'7". Very strong. Deceptively so. He's an extra forward out there rebounding the ball, even though he's got point guard skills when it's in his hand. Now here's Washington. Outside for Rozier. Just five to shoot. Hayward with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. And Porzingis with the block. Hey, with that length, Porzingis is always a threat to block shots. I mean, when he matches that length with really good energy and awareness, he can be a good defender. And the Mavericks with some changes. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Porzingis. Powell comes in for Kleba. And it's Bullock in for Finney Smith. For three, Smith. A second to shoot. Slam dunk by Plumley. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Mavericks. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them. But it must feel great to take the first meeting. And it will be a fight. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for the players. And what a huge performance it was for Luka Doncic. And I love how active he was on the glass. Not afraid to get physical and do whatever he could do to grab boards. Now here's Smith. Pass to Bridges. Hayward outside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on to White Powell. By employing the change of pace dribble, Hayward creates windows for a shot inside and outside. Shooting for Charlotte, Gordon Hayward taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Good on both. Here's Bullock, guarded by Hayward. Here's Bullock. tonight one play with confidence operating flawlessly the other just was lost and the energy in this building was awesome the crowd was involved from the jump and once they started to really pour it on it was fun to see how it all came together and now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game Allie Luca, you played well tonight and your team got the win those two usually go together but what else made the difference yeah, I think we had a uh, had a great game. You know, we had a. I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense. You know, it was a great win. Team defense goes a long way. Thanks, Luca. Allie, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Luca Doncic.